Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is July 30th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about a particular region of the Arctic that has been affected by a series of climate change enhanced extreme weather events and this is the Arctic ice, ice edge zone on the Atlantic side of the Arctic Ocean. Now this region has been pummeled by a number of severe warm storm events over the past few years starting apparently in 2015 with large warm storms moving in over the Barents Sea and up toward the North Pole, particularly during winter time, and driving near freezing and above freezing temperatures as far as the pole during winter time, which is an extraordinary occurrence. Now, particularly recent studies, uh, particularly from NASA, have indicated that these storms have had an impact on sea ice in the Atlantic sector and that this has tended to weaken the sea ice and thin the sea ice in a region that has typically been both strong and thick with regards to sea ice coverage. Now the Im image that we're looking at now is an Earth Null School image. It's based on the global forecast system model forecast for tomorrow, July 34th at two o'clock local time, two o'clock p.m. local time. And I just wanna point out a couple of features in the North Atlantic with regards to temperatures that, that are interesting and, and odd. And, and this is that the, the, sea, the surface temperatures, the two meter surface temperatures in the North Atlantic, south of Greenland, are about six to seven, eight degrees Celsius. And, and these temperatures are, are rather cool for this region of the North Atlantic at this time of year. And if you go much further to the north near Svalbard, you have surface temperatures in the range of 12 degrees Celsius, which is, which is much warmer than normal for this time of year. So, so about 1,500, 2,000 miles to the south, you have cooler than normal temperatures and and basically well above the arctic circle near the 80 degree north latitude line you have much warmer than normal temperatures in the 12 this is 12 and a half degrees celsius temperature here near Svalbard. now now this feature this this temperature dipole it is indicative of a number of climate change related aspects and, and one of them is is Greenland melt, which is developing a cool pool of water in the North Atlantic south of Greenland. And this is helping to develop a trough in the jet stream in this region, but it's also helping to develop a facing ridge zone in through Europe, which tends to run up well north of the Arctic Circle and into the high Arctic. And so you get this feature where, where weather systems tend to dive to the south of Greenland on the west side, and move rapidly up to the north of Greenland on the east side. And, and this is pulling these, these warmer than normal temperatures as a, as a tendency related feature that, that we see again and again and again with regards to Greenland. Now, I'm just gonna show you a, an old Nor Earth Null School screen capture of one of these storms that, that we captured back on February 25th of 2018 in which a warm storm drove above freezing temperatures during February into the North Pole region and, and also to the east of Greenland and west of Svalbard with much warmer than normal temperatures. And, and the net effect of, of all this warm air rising up from Europe and from the Barents Sea and into the Arctic has been to beat back the Atlantic side ice edge quite considerably. And as we see here, the, the sea ice that typically exports through the Fram Strait here east of Greenland is, is diffuse and, and, and broken up and showing a lot of areas of open water. 
And also the ice edge north of Savalbard is, is greatly removed, as is the ice edge near the, the eastern Barents Sea and the Kara Sea region, also greatly reduced here. And I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in in the satellite picture so you can see this ice edge, which is, is rather far to the north here. Now, one of the reasons why I'm talking about, about this is, is due to the fact that Zach Labe, who is a Arctic observer and a climate student, uh, climate change uh, student in currently involved in gaining his PhD in climate science related materials, recently highlighted that the extent in the Atlantic sector sea ice is presently at a record low level. And you can see this as indicated in the red line on this graph, which has been produced by Zach Lab based on observational data produced by the National Snow and Ice Data Center. So, so this region of the Arctic Ocean is presently seeing record low sea ice due to the climate change related weather features that I have identified for you as a part of this blog and, and due in large part to that. So now in the future, we expect to see a continued flow of warm air up from Europe, east of Greenland and west of Svalbard into this zone. So this zone is, is something that we, we need to watch over the coming days for the potential for continued sea ice losses. As, as we can see in this anomaly map, a continued flux of warm air into the region predicted over the next eight days. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.